Hi, my name is Justin Flom, and thank you for watching. I'd like to share with you a story. And now, I certainly can't take credit for this story. In fact, it dates all the way back to 1778, and I heard it from a recording in the late 50s. And people still are passing around the story today, so you may know it, but it means a lot to me. It starts with a soldier overseas at war, in his bunker with a deck of cards spread out on his bed. A sergeant walks in and says, Soldier, what are you doing? And he says, Sir, I was just about to spend some time in prayer with the Lord. He says, Well, it actually looks like you're about to play cards. He says, No, sir. If you let me explain, I'll show you something kind of interesting. You see, this deck of cards may seem ordinary to you, but it acts as my Bible. You see, in a deck, the ace reminds me that there is only one God. And the two is the two halves of the Bible, the New and the Old Testament. The three, that's the Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The four, well, that's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the apostles. And the six, well, that's the six days in which God made the earth. The seven is the day that God rested. In a Bible, you even have the Ten Commandments, and my absolute favorite, Jesus, who is the King. In fact, he's the king of my heart. Now, at this point, the sergeant was surprised and impressed. And he says, that's pretty neat. He goes, it doesn't stop there, sir. You see, in a deck of cards, there's four suits, hearts, clubs, spades, diamonds. That's the four seasons. In fact, there's 13 cards in each suit. There's 13 weeks exactly in each quarter. 52 cards in the deck. There's 52 weeks in a year. So you see, sir, my deck of cards is my Bible, it's my calendar, it's my almanac. And with a deck of cards spread in front of me, I can see all the things that I am to be thankful for. Now, as a magician, I work with a deck of cards as a living. And it's a really nice story, it means a lot to me. But I take it a step further, you see, with a deck of cards spread in front of me, I can remember the things that I'm thankful for. One of those things just might be a soldier who's overseas giving his life for my freedom.